PNC Food Markets was a supermarket chain and wholesale food distributor from 1944 until 2012. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can get notified of my latest video. Please hit that like button and leave a suggestion or a comment. You might see that in a future video. Thanks for watching and now back to our regular scheduled program. At PNC, we're proud to be from here. And we're proud to offer you the best of locally produced products. Through the Cart Starts Here program, we're encouraging shoppers to support our central New York economy by purchasing local products and keeping their grocery dollars close to home. This means the freshest products and jobs for people in our communities. Look for local products and help support the Cart Starts Here at PNC, your kind of store. PNC's history began in 1941 when the Grange League Federation, the GLF, a farmers purchasing and marketing cooperative, had a difficult time marketing its products to consumers. The GLF founder, H.E. Babcock, suggested a solution. The missing piece in the GLF, which already had farmers and processing facilities such as flour mills, canneries, and egg auctions, was a retail store. The PNC stood for Producers and Consumers. In January of 1942, the first PNC market opened in nearby Batavia, New York. The opening stirred a lot of local interest since it was the first self-service market in the area. This new concept in marketing offered a complete line of self-service meats, fresh vegetables, and other groceries. Consumers could also rent freezer or cold storage space. Each locker was about six cubic feet. The store offered to hang and age meat for farmers who produce their own meat and then to cut it, wrap it, label it, and deliver it to individual freezer lockers rented by each farmer. The 24,000 square foot building rented by the first PNC market for $125 a month featured a first floor for shopping and second floor for parking. The the store advertised the convenience of being able to drive right in from one of two entrances. In 1943, a second PNC supermarket was opened in Auburn, New York. PNC expanded quickly in the 1940s. By the end of the decade, it had opened 20 more stores. During this time, PNC bought Commander Foods five stores and its warehouse. PNC also marketed canned goods with its own PNC label. The 1950s brought a shift of population from the cities to the suburbs, and PNC responded to this change by building stores and shopping centers in the suburbs. Also during that time, the company bought the Netty Wholesale Division and the Big M Supermarkets, a franchise division. During the 1960s, PNC expanded out of New York State building stores in West Virginia and Pennsylvania. PNC sold canned goods and other processed foods such as coffee, ice cream, flour, dried fruits, and salt under its own private labels of Sunny Square, Party Club, Country Manor, Penny Curtis, and Excel. By 1969, PNC had 47 supermarkets, 50 Big M franchises, and 8 discount stores. In 1970, PNC was purchased by an unlikely company, Numo Dynamics Corporation, a Boston-based company that manufactured aerospace and defense products. In 1979, PNC bought 10 Loblaw grocery stores. By this time, PNC had more than $500 million in sales. It owned 99 PNC supermarkets and 53 Big M stores. PNC also now marketed more than 750 items under its own label. In 1984, PNC's parent company, Numo, was purchased by Illinois Central Industries, or IC. In 1985, the following year, PNC's manager, backed by Reardon, Freeman, and Spogli, and other institutional investors, bought PNC from IC for a reported $125 million. In 1988, Penn Traffic of Johnston, 
Pennsylvania bought a 90% interest in the grocery store chain. The next year, Penn Traffic had plans to sell PNC to the Grand Union Company. The deal did not take place, however. Grand Union was unable to obtain financing because of a decline in the junk bond market. That same year, PNC had 88 stores and 71 Big M's. It had more than 160 wholesale accounts. In the 1990s, PNC faced growing competition from wholesale food clubs and other grocery stores. In 1991, PNC opened a pharmacy in one of its stores and planned to introduce pharmacies in other stores as well as in order to provide one-stop shopping. In the late 1990s, PNC's parent company Penn Traffic experienced a significant reduction in its profitability because of several merchandising and operational changes that had a negative impact on its business. In 2003, the company filed for bankruptcy and then filed again on November 18, 2009 after second quarter losses of $7 million, missing loan payments, and slower shipments from suppliers. On January 25, 2010, Topps Markets bid was signed off by federal judge and U.S. Bankruptcy Court and was awarded the sale of all 79 Penn Traffic stores. The bankruptcy also caused the closure of dozens of PNC stores and layoffs of thousands of employees. In 2009, the Federal Trade Commission approved the sale of three stores by owner of the Topps Markets to two former key executives with the defunct Penn Traffic Company. The three remaining stores were in Cortland and Ithaca, New York, and Sayre, Pennsylvania. The three stores were renamed PNC Fresh. The last PNC Foods branded grocery store closed on January 21st, 2012 in Bath, New York, when the building was sold to Morin Foods, owner of Save-A-Lot. Hey, if you just watched my video, thanks for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe to Eric C. Productions.